It took 13.8 billion years of cosmic evolution to bring us here. But the world we enjoy today, no matter what we do, won't last this way forever. The solar system is believed to have formed about 4.6 billion years ago when a large cloud of dust and gas collapsed. More than 99% of the matter from the original cloud formed an object which became the sun. The remaining material became the planets, asteroids, comets, and other bodies within the solar system. Is it strange to think of our sun, everlasting and permanent in the sky for the entire history of our existence, as something that is dying? But that's exactly what is happening, as is the case for everything in our universe. To understand the future of the sun is to understand our future and that of the solar system. This is Googleplex, and here is what will happen to our sun in 7 billion years from now. 1.4 billion years from now, Sun's habitable zone moves outside of Earth's orbit, possibly shifting onto Mars' orbit. 2.5 billion years from now, the Sun's radius will now have increased by over 11%, its luminosity increasing by 25%. We will observe mounting temperatures on all planets. 3.5 billion years from now, the sun will be 40% brighter than it is right now, which will cause the oceans to boil, the ice caps to permanently melt, and all water vapor in the atmosphere to be lost to space. Under these conditions, life as we know it will be unable to survive anywhere on the surface. 5 billion years from now, the sun will enter what is known as the red giant phase of its evolution. This will begin once all hydrogen is exhausted in the core and the inert helium ash that is built up there becomes unstable and collapses under its own weight. This will cause the core to heat up and get denser, causing the sun to grow in size. As a red giant, the sun will grow so large that it will engulf Mercury, Venus, and probably Earth. 6.7 billion years from now, our beloved sun would expand to a radius of 100 times larger than its current one. Seven billion years from now, eventually the whole of the outer regions of the sun will be blown away, forming a glowing shell of plasma called a planetary nebula, leaving the dense core of the sun behind as a white dwarf. As the initial size of a star varies, so does its eventual future. If the sun was a bigger star, then after its red giant phase, it would collapse into a black hole. The mass of the white dwarf will only be 30% of the original mass of the sun. At this time, the sun will only be slightly larger than Earth, but will have about 100,000 times more mass. One liter of white dwarf material would have a mass of around 550 tons. In its final stages of death, the white dwarf sun will eventually run out of its remaining fuel and turn into what is called a black dwarf. This will take a very long time, maybe 50 billion years or about a million times the present age of the universe. These theorized objects made of electron degenerate matter produce little, if any, light of their own, a true death of the star. One quadrillion years from now, Sun cools to 5 Kelvin, gravity of passing stars detaches planets from orbits, solar system ceases to exist. So go out and enjoy some sunshine. It's only here for another 6 billion years. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then hit the like button and subscribe to Googleplex for much more to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.